after a recent video where I mentioned that the front of house table management screen had a graphical table layout and could be moved, tables could be moved and managed from the front of the house, I had some comments and questions about just how to do that. So I thought I'd make a quick video showing you the table layout, how to manage it from the front of the house. So I'm going to enter in a new order and you'll see that there is a graphical table layout. You can swipe right to left and choose a different section. Each section can have the icons that are managed for this, uh, this system. Easily switched from one to the other and in this case you can see where I have some that are the blue background that is just the standard uh, the ones with icons obviously I've done some extra work on but nonetheless from the front of the house you can manage these so with the proper security you would come in and then click on the ellipsis button go to the hostess screen where now you see the table layout this is really for the hostess but the little question mark let's see what that does touch that and you get your instructions or some hints as to what you can do so taking two fingers, tapping on an open area, allows you to add a table on the fly. Two fingers on an existing table allows you to edit that table. And then hold a table and then reposition it to move these around in any place that you'd like. So you can have your own graphical layout. So let's watch me do that. So I'm going to take two fingers and tap anywhere in the open area and I get the option for adding a new table. What is required is the table number. This can be alphanumeric, but it could, has to be a distinct table number that's not already in use. When you hit the OK button, then you'll get a new table. You'll see it pops up. Now I can move the tables around to insert that new table. I'm going to do that by pressing and holding down a button on the table and then I move it to where I want it. Once I release it, it will then position itself in that spot. Now you'll notice that the table does not have the cute little icon and to, and to add that, you do have to go to the back office. But this does allow you to add a table during operations without having to stop and go to the back office. It also allows you to manipulate and move those tables to where they pretty much accurately describe where they are in, in the restaurant. If I take my two fingers and then tap on the table, I then open it up for programming. I can put a guest count in there for the maximum number on that table. I can make that a visible or not visible table. So if it's just a temporary situation, you can add it. And then when you're done with that, you can then make it not visible or hide the table. Your choice. And that's really all there is to managing tables in the front of the house. You can add a table, move those around, show them where they actually are, and then um, edit the table for number of guests. If you do want to add an icon, you do have to go to the back office, but that's not a hard thing to do. Now let's see what it takes to add a section. Simply swipe right to left. Now you have the three sections that we currently have in the system. Up at the top left, you see where it says select groups. I'm going to touch that and that then opens up our editing function. So now on the left, you have the main dining, patio, and balcony little white boxes there. They display what is currently available there. Down the center, these are all the tables that are currently in the system with that visible and hide slide switch that we're talk we've talked about earlier. Then on the right hand side, the blue buttons, that allows you to change the seating group that is associated with that table. So if I wanted to change table 100 to a different seating group, that's where I would do that. Down the bottom left is where you add in the new seating groups. I'm going to touch that and give that then a name. So let's call that the pool section. 
and now you simply start by adding tables. Remember now I told you that you could have alphanumeric tables so in this case I'm going to start these with a P just so we can have something a little different. And that's really all there is to adding a new section with new tables. To stop editing, I'm going to go back up to the top and then hit the select groups. Now pops back up and you can now see there's my tables. Now obviously I'd like to move these around so I can do that by touching the table and repositioning it. Quite simple, easy to do. Hope you enjoyed this quick little video. If you have other questions, you can give us a call at 800-801-6036 or you can visit one of the uh, websites that we have in our family of websites, adello.com, aldellopay.com, and aldello.express.